Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie Lightbeam from Lightbeam's Treasures and Curiosities, bringing you another What Sold on eBay video. Today, we're going to be highlighting what sold on Friday, April 24th, 2020. And, oh, I am on fire, and it's only the first day of the weekend. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen today and tomorrow because the Friday the sales went <laughs> and I'm gonna highlight what went on yesterday um, actually yeah it's a lot of stuff <laughs> I'm totally excited and I know what's going to happen is I might be in a predicament where my shipping costs is gonna cost more than what I actually have saved up simply because of managed payments so that's going to be interesting unless I get my direct deposit on Monday. But usually Monday they've been really good with the deposits where they'll give me all three back to back on the weekend. But we'll see what happens. So let's get to it because this is exciting. I'm going to start with the boring stuff because you know something? Hey, I'm a book queen. What ends up happening? I sell books, books. But one of the books I do want to talk about real quick simply because this may be a nice strategic thing for you. My math books. I actually sold three of these between Thursday and Friday. And I only had three of this particular edition. Now, if you remember, I got that stack of math books and I broke it down by grades and age and all that stuff. So this particular one, which is uh, geared for ages eight to nine, grade three, there's Singapore math uh, word problems. I'm thinking that actually um, what do you call it, activated some sort of um, uh, metrics which caused them all to sell at once. Because what was happening is I took an offer for this one and then immediately once I took the offer for this one, this one sold. And like I said, I think it has to do, I mean, I just find that as a coincidence that these particular things, which I thought would be a slow sale, within two days I sold out completely. Or maybe I'm wrong, but I took the offer for $8 and then this one for $9 immediately went. So I'm happy. This was all part of that math cart, which let me get that big, um, where did I put my papers? Oh, I put my papers right here. I gotta keep myself in order. This was part of the big wiper cart set for $28, the wipers, the books, the posters. So I sold two math books. So right now we are up to $92.98 for all those items. And like I said, when it comes to the wipers, I'm slowly putting them up a little bit at a time instead of flooding them all at once. That's just how I'm doing it. The next book that I sold, The Power of Ethical Persuasion by Tom Rusk, From Conflict to Partnership at Work and in Private Life. Yeah, with all the things going on and the people who are still working, you probably want to learn some persuasion skills at work, so you're in charge. This particular book I got for free, and I sold this one for, what did I sell this for? Uh, $8. I gotta keep my notes in order, I'm sorry about that. I had them all written out, and then I just spread them out all over the place. The next one, which I'm so glad my music books are finally going because I feel like they've been sitting on the shelf for quite some time, but this is a five pack of vintage music song books for singing, piano, um, all kinds of things. Sold this entire lot for $20. And of course I got this for free. This is, all these books are going media mail. So the cost of media mail is super cheap. The, um, the big books will cost $3. This might cost like $4 and change. So I'm really happy. That's a nice little profit being that I got the books for free and sold it for $20. All right, so the next item. Ooh, I am excited. Let's grab this. I sold a T-ball set. Extra large batting T-ball set. Now, I paid a dollar for this, and I probably should have put it for so much more, but I paid a dollar for this, $19.99 for the T-ball. I've already weighed it. It's going to cost me $15 to ship, so you know something? I mean, that's really not... 
I was expecting more because I have to remember I put the lowest amount and of course for some reason they took the lowest amount had to adjust it because I had that for hire but that's okay I mean I still made like a three dollar profit on that it sounds like it's crazy but it's a quick flip I just got this the other day so uh, I mean I'm happy but at least I got rid of it the next item which I wish they had more of these because I would have totally collected these <gasps> look at this it's the golden girls chia pet rose it's the pottery that grows and this features um rose the only thing is I do have to admit get a close-up that I'm sorry does not look like rose you think that looks like rose I mean does this look like this one right right here oh no I'm sorry this one but anyway it was rose uh -huh. but still I don't I don't see the resemblance I just don't see it but hey chia pet I sold uh, the chia pet what did I say for $15 so that was a good little sale on that one then oh let me grab this guy for all you football fans it's a Rydell mini helmet I have to admit I was with somebody and I said I'm like do you know what uh what state what what OU is and they're laughing at me OU Oklahoma I should have known that Oklahoma well I had no idea what OU was so this is the Oklahoma and I think they called them um the Sooners I don't know why they call them the Sooners, but it was like the Oklahoma Sooners. This uh, this thing, I bought this for, how much was this? $1.25. Bought it for $1.25. I sold this baby for, and I'm not keeping good, $23. That was a good flip. Then, oh, and my new store. Now, yeah, I do have a new store. I opened up a new store, strictly making it a toy store. Um, but they're starting me from the beginning like they always did, which is fine, where the first month you do 10 items, second month you do 20 items, third month. So I'm in my first month's phase where I only have 10 items listed. I sold a puzzle. It's the Rolling Stones puzzle, rock and roll. I paid 60 cents for this puzzle, turned around, sold it for $11. Happy. So that's my second item in my store that I sold for um, the new toy store. I can't wait till I could start building up that and I'll put all the toys on and make it a specialty store. Because that's one of the things that I've been learning to do is they're saying build a store that satisfies a specific niche. And the fact that I can get discounted toys at Dirt Cheap and other places, I would like to have a toy store just for that niche and then be able to sell multiple copies of a single one can't do that yet until I start building up the store it's okay because that store I'm planning for like Christmas time when I can get access to so many toys in bulk but we'll see what happens the next item I sold oh I gotta grab it it is from that health and beauty card which I am loving now so far this is only the third item I sold if you remember I bought three carts $28 at Dirt Cheap loaded up with makeup. Actually, I shouldn't say 28 It was actually two carts loaded up with makeup. And then the third cart, I bought odds and end things. So this particular item, I am going to show you. It is the Do Definition Mousse. And I thought this was funny because on the back of it, it says it's tested on afros, not animals. So, I mean, obviously, it's one of the vegan healthy products and stuff like that. But I thought it was funny because it says tested on afros, not animals. So, this particular one um, was part of that $28 cart. I sold these two for $22 for two bottles. That brings that total to just show you the three items. I didn't total it up, but that's okay. $19.99, $27.99, and $22. This is going to be an incredible cart. That's all I have to say. Um, I s started um, sorting out a whole bunch of stuff last night. Started putting it up. Oh, and I realized something. I did put something up on Macari. This is just a warning because they immediately took it down. I didn't realize you cannot post... Um, what do you call it? Hair treatments on Macari. So that was the, uh, what do you call them? Noxidil 9, the Rogaine stuff. You cannot put Rogaine on Macari. I was reading the, 
I was reading Macari carefully because he says it doesn't go with FDA guidelines, and I'm assuming it's going to be the minoxidil, which that's a um, medicine. So they took that down. I didn't see it on the eBay side, and I did see that eBay people are selling Rogaine, so I'm a little iffy. I hope they don't take it down on eBay, but that should be a quick sale because that stuff is expensive. And, um... But I was going to have the two bottles up for $45. I have the two bottles up for $45 on the eBay side. We will see what happens on that. And then the final item. Is that the final item? Yes, it's cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. I'm just going to show you the price, but it is Sensors Alive. They're saying that the original price was $129.99. Why am I thinking that that is wrong? Um, I actually bought this 90% off. Uh, $1.29. So I paid $1.29 for this particular item. I sold this baby for $21. And what it is, it's basically, it's a cute little, like, you create your pets on your um, cell phone. And, the, and you have your little pets do things, and they're like cute little creatures. So I ended up, um, this was also from the toy lot as well. And the, I'm sorry, not the toy lot, the electronics lot. When I did that big electronics thing. And just to show you that, because I have the numbers here. <gasps> Look at that. It is three electronic carts. I paid $30. And so far, I sold my 12th electronics. And it's only been since uh, April 17th. That's what's cool. I bought it April 17th. It's now the 25th. Less than 10 days. So basically, I'm selling one product a day. So this was the 12th product I sold. Made $243.79 out of a $30 profit in 10 days. So if you can tell by these numbers, I am on fire. And I cannot wait to see what's going to happen this weekend. I have a feeling it's going to be an incredible weekend. And like I said, and this is my problem, but I'm going to get into that fact where I'm going to have so much more products to ship than the amount of money that's coming in at that time. Simply because, remember, there is a four-day four day delay on my funds. So all this stuff that I sold it's going to take me approximately four days to get it. Now, some of these happen to be Macari sales, which I will say this. I am absolutely loving Macari. Macari is on fire as well. In fact, um, this was one of the items that sold on Macari. And, oh, I should have said this because I had to highlight this. I think this was the fastest sell I ever did. I literally typed it up. I put it on Macari. And then within 30 seconds of me pressing ding it popped up now when it popped up because you know how Macari you you press it and it pops up and says oh your thing has been listed I thought simply that's what it was until I realized it's like wait a minute that's a sale and I opened it up and sure enough cha -ching! so that was a Macari sale so I I have to say that 30 seconds is the quickest I ever sold an online item that wins the tip the cake being the do so, um, everybody, I hope you have a great weekend. As you can see, the quality of my items are getting better. And, um, I think my, I, I've been talking with my husband. I know I'm, I'm giving commentary. I'm talking to my husband. The quality of my items are getting better. The fact that almost everything I'm taking in immediately is selling immediately which leaves the problem that I have a lot of old excess inventory, but all the new stuff is selling. And I think that is a great thing. And if I can get into the habit of having items like these that come in and then quickly turn around for a profit and be able to have a couple of dollars to go shopping, because I used to, if you remember not too long ago, I used to say, oh, my budget is only $20 a week. But if you notice, I've been buying these carts at $30 a shot. So yes, I actually upped my budget a little bit, but there was actually a point within one week, I bought three sets of carts. So yes, I spent $90 in shopping, but look how much I made. We're talking $200, $98, 243 I've made within a short period of time. 
So it's one of those things you as a business owner, you need to balance out. Is that going to necessarily, how much do you spend versus how much? But for me, all I have to say is the quality of my items are getting better. I got to still figure out how to get into a groove to make this a consistent thing. But I'm excited. I can't wait. I have so many more uh, designer beauty stuff that I need to put on because I know this cart deal, oh my God, is going to make me money. And the, qu the quicker I sort it out and the quicker I put it up, the better I'll be. So with that, everyone, I hope you have a great weekend. I know I talked way too much this video, but take care. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on sourcing. Until next time, this is Melanie Lightbeam. Oh, and you know, hit the like, hit the subscribe, give, throw me a comment. Take care.